The brothers, the brothers, the brothers. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Oh, not too bad. The Xbox. Yeah, I got an Xbox 360 with a bunch of stuff. You work at Microsoft? Yeah. Okay, cool. You don't got any um any Nintendo or Sony stuff to you? No, I don't, unfortunately. Okay. Would you sell the games individually? Uh, if you want, yeah, sure. What would you want on them individually, do you know? Oh, I don't know. A couple bucks each. Right. Give you four for the pair? Sure. All right, that works. All right, four bucks. Cool. All right. All right, thanks, man. Thanks. Yeah, I appreciate it. You don't have Game Boys or DS, nothing like that? No, nothing no. like that. All right. No kids. So oh, okay. All right. Just You know if the um This is your sale, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you know if the main system is in here? No, it's not. Oh that's missing? Yeah. Oh okay. So it's just a bunch of stuff that Any stuff games? Left. Nope. No games at all? It's just hardware that he left behind. Hmm. Um, do you think you could do five on that? Sure. Okay. There you go. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, I, I don't need any of those. Uh, nothing else? No other video games anywhere? Okay. How's it going? Good, good. Couldn't ask for a better day to do this. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? I know. You don't have the uh, the Wii system that you're going to sell? I don't. Okay. We already sold the Wii. Got it. <laughs> Looks like the homeless guy from Happy Gilmore, doesn't he? Looks exactly like him. Wow. The shovelware, just aim for that paper bag if you're going to throw anything. Okay. Welcome back to the VG Bros. It's another Saturday, which means... Garage sales. It's garage sale here. It's day. garage sale season. We're both so pumped. This is the best time of year. Today was epic. I don't. I ran out of words to describe today. <laughs> it was so good. So what you just watched was Phil over here finding some stuff. So tell us about what you found. Let me show you what I found. I hit like three or four community sales. Half of them were Friday Saturday sales, and I hit it on a Saturday. So do the math. It, it had been picked over, um, but I still. Found some decent stuff. My day was just okay, as you can see. Uh, a lot of Xbox stuff, which unfortunately doesn't really hold its value, but I found these two games. He wanted $3 each for them. I offered two apiece. He took it. Uh, as you can see, he was a Microsoft employee. We, we actually see this quite a bit where yeah. we live with our vicinity to Microsoft. Um, they sell these games in their store, so the employees purchase them. When the Xbox first came out, the original Xbox, first-party Xbox games were $10 each in their store. So if you worked there, or if you knew someone who worked there, mm -hmm. I remember buying Halo 1 for $10. I don't know if they still do that. This was 2001 or whatever, but that was a pretty sweet deal if you worked for Microsoft. Yeah, we see these all the time in this area. He wasn't supposed to sell it, though. It says not to be sold. <laughs> I don't know. So Blue Dragon, uh, I think this is a RPG, one of the few RPGs on the console. It's still sealed. He never opened it. So two dollars for Seal of Blue Dragon. That's pretty cool. We just talked about this last week. How often this happens? I don't know. I got a couple sealed things today too. I'll show you. Forza Motorsport Two. I actually thought this was Forza Two, uh, which is a decently valuable game, probably north of twenty dollars. This is Forza Motorsport Two, and it's borderline shovelware. Not quite enough to throw into the pile, but borderline. Are we ever going to see our friend Shovelware again? Remember, we, he will make a return. He'll, he'll make a return. He will make a return. He was in our Christmas episode, and we threw him off the balcony. But, he's healing uh, now. He's busy playing Madden and Connect Adventures. Okay. Yeah. All right. This was another find. I I don't know. I'd never heard of this game. It looked interesting. I think I offered the kid two bucks, and he took it. Or 
did I offer him? I don't know what I offered him, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how well my footage was for this, but I get to a sale um, with a small pile of Xbox One stuff, some DS stuff. The game is missing here, but hey, now I have the case for it. Plants vs. Zombies. Whatever. Deus Ex. Didn't this game just come out recently? I feel like it just came out. I don't know. Battlefront, Elder Scrolls Online, Battlefield, and... Da 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 da! NBA something. Shovelware. Don't care. Don't care. $5 for that whole pile. Whatever. And you could probably saw this. I got footage. Um, I see this box. I see the Wii U uh, gamepad. He's got $10 written here. As it turns out, the system itself is not here. So I offered him $5 and he took it. Everything, including this, is in really nice condition. It looks like it was just barely played. It's got a uh, Motion Plus controller. No games? No games. I asked. He says, no, my son took it all. Um, this is a uh, thingamajig. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know what it is. Get that out of my face. I don't know, $5. This controller alone is probably worth $15. So yeah. I was really happy to find it. It's only a matter of time before you or me find a console without the gamepad and then we can make them whole again. So that's kind of what I figured. For five dollars you can't go wrong. You've probably seeing my footage I found some other stuff that I didn't pick up. Uh, I saw an Xbox One. They wanted a hundred dollars. I'm not paying a hundred dollars for that. That was all I found today. Let's talk about my day. So Andy had a pretty uh. unbelievably epic day. Unfortunately you don't have footage. I don't. We're going to fix this. Yeah. So I talked about how I get my footage. I wear a shirt like this with a pocket like that. The phone I turn on to video in portrait mode because that's all I do. Yeah. And you put your phone in your pocket and you're recording video. And I know what you're going to say. Well, if you lean over, the phone's going to slide out of your pocket. That's true. But look what I found. Thank you, Amazon. These are magnetic strips. And the other side has an adhesive to it. So what I'm going to do, and this is how I get my footage. I wear a shirt like this and you put the magnet on the inside of the pocket, and then when you put your phone in there, boom! You could be upside down and it's not coming out of your pocket. This side. Yeah, it's, it'll work. Yeah. Trust me, it works. Right. I mean, I, I've been way over to look through these boxes, and my phone never even yeah. moves an inch. So. I'm gonna, because what I've been doing is I wear these spy glasses, but then you get into a, like a dark garage. I knew it. And yeah. you gotta take them off. You, first of all, you look ridiculous, and you're dealing with people, and you're trying to tell someone to go in and get some video games. And I don't know, it, it feels really weird, and it's hard to see in these in a dark garage wearing sunglasses. I, I dropped the ball today, I didn't get any footage, but it was one of the best days I've ever had garage sale. You're not going to believe it this. It was epic. So, I guess after I find three Earthbounds, it's your turn to have a really good score. It's my turn. So, I walked up, there was these two PSP games sitting out. And they're both brand new. Again, this happens a lot. One of them is you looked up. Yeah, the third, uh, the third birthday. It's a Square Enix like survival horror game. Okay. Apparently sealed. It's like a thirty-five dollar game. Okay. So. And then a God of War game. I saw those, and there's my launching pad. Hey, what else do you got, right? And there was a couple of ladies there, and her husband was out buying breakfast, so she had to wait for him to get back. She's like, "Can you wait ten minutes?" He has NES games. It's, of course I'm going to wait 10 minutes for NES game. He runs inside, he comes out with a handful of games, and I strike up a conversation with him, and he has more stuff. So he goes in, he comes out again. He just kept, he made three or four trips all together, and he just kept bringing out more stuff. And he didn't sell me everything he had. Well, you're, you're looking at what he was willing to so part let's, with. So let's quickly go through this. Okay, here we There's go. There's not a lot of shovelware here. We got Star Fox Assault. Sonic Adventure DX in some weird rental case. Rogue Squadron. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life. I guess this is the Jimmy Stewart version. Of yeah. Harvest Moon. Yep. Super Mario Strikers. Mario Party 7. Hang on. Hold on. Hang on. I hear something. There's another disc in there's here. There's another disc in here. What could be... Yeah, uh, there's Mario Party 7. There's Mario Party 7. What's that? Boom. Are you kidding me? Yep. It's a $100 loose disc. Dude. You this might as well have found a $100 bill in here. Right? I, That's ridiculous. Yeah. I have been looking for this game like mad. I really want to find this game in the wild. We found it here. And like I said, uh, it's your turn. So Yeah, it was missing the case, but dude, it's hard it's to complain when you find me? that game. Wow. Awesome, awesome score. Double Dash. Mario Kart Double Dash. Marvel Nemesis something. Another Star Wars game. Yeah. 
Super Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine. Complete. I can tell it's complete. You can feel the weight when you've done this a while. Yeah. Is that a boxed NES game right there? This is a boxed Zelda. Are you kidding me? I know. The box is in okay condition. It has some issues. The cart itself is it's awesome. It's amazing. It yeah. shines. I mean, it's golden. It looks so good. It's complete with all the manual and the map and everything. I, I don't even know what to say about this. I never find box NES stuff. At this is your Earthbound. Yeah, it kind of is. Man. Crazy. I don't even know what to say about that. Crazy. And so this guy was kind of a collector, or at least he used to be. And so he had a few of these kind of aftermarket cases made for games. And this was one of them. He had more that he would not sell. He had Final Fantasy 2. He had Final Fantasy 3. He had Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. He had Secret of Mana. Oh. He had Battletoads and Double Dragon on all on Super Nintendo. And they're all yeah. in these cases. This was the one I managed to pry out of his hands, and I was really happy to find this. I've been looking for both Super Nintendo Turtles games, and this is one of them. So I was really happy to find awesome, that. Awesome, awesome. It's um, a PlayStation 2 game. It's an Atlas game. <laughs> it's almost mine. <laughs> Just about. Magna Carta. It's a very PG-13 cover on that. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, and then a bunch of loose carts. Oh, there's a Game Boy Color, a purple Game Boy Color. So... We got Illusion of Gaia, Good condition. Baseball Simulator, Metal Combat, Primal Rage, Genesis. A Genesis few Genesis does. games. Look at that. Including Shining Force 2. Man, Shining Force 2. And then a Pac Man, and you got your Golden Axe. You got your Golden Axe. Got your Golden Axe. So remember the commercial? He's playing Golden Axe. Of course they remember. They're the too young. Come on. They're you too guys young. remember the commercial. Yeah. Few N64 games. Again, he had a few more he would not sell me. He had Smash and Mario Kart on N64. Ugh. And he held on it, but he would not budge on those. Bummer. So I got Vigilante 8, a wrestling game, Turok 2, and Donkey Kong 64. The NES games, I got all of them. They're all pretty dirty. He admitted to me he got them at a flea market a few years ago, and he's been meaning to clean them and test them, but he never did. There's a couple really good ones in here. There's Kung Fu, Little Mermaid, whoop de doo Robocop, another Zelda... Castlevania 3, not bad. Mega Man 3, even better. And the rest of them, I think, are kind of shovel wary. There's nothing to write home about. A what's, the, what's the one with the. What is this? Uh, Tailspin. Oh, you're right. Well, no. Flintstones at Dinosaur Peak? Yeah, no, that can't be no, right. No, it's Tailspin. It's Tailspin. It's Tailspin. That's close. Anyway, there's a Double Dragon. Uh, Friday the 13th, I don't know, Battletoads, Yo Noid, the Turtles 2 game, and a Mario Duck. Anyway, he was holding on to Smash Brothers Melee, he was holding on to Smash N64, he was holding on to those Super Nintendo games that I mentioned, but I put all this stuff in a pile, and he said $100 for everything. I gave him that $100 bill about as fast as I possibly could. Like I said, that Fire Emblem disc only is worth $100. Yeah, I know. And then the Zelda in the oh box. Are you kidding me? Kidding me. A what, great what select score. A great if, selection of GameCube games. If this was your entire day, oh, it would have been a great day. Yeah. This is about a third of your day. <laughs> so let's clear this off yeah. and we'll go to phase two. Yeah. This was my next score. Again, none of this was sitting out. I just started talking to the guy and asking him about video games, and the next thing you know, he brings out a bunch of games. He had an N64 in pretty bad condition. The cords were kind of broken and, like, exposed wires coming out of the cords and stuff. And so mm -hmm. I, I passed on the console itself. He wanted, I think, $20 for it, and I'm not paying $20 for that in that condition. I grabbed all the games, and he had two PSPs. He had a bunch of PSP games, 100% shovelware. Ugh. Like, half of them were movies, right? Like, super bad, right? <laughs> Remember when that seemed like a good idea? <laughs> yeah. Right before smartphones yep. came out. Oh, man. It seemed like a good idea to get all these <laughs> movies on the PSP, and now they're worthless. And every game he had was junk. Every one of them. It was a, a sports title, or, I mean, I... I That's too bad. I grabbed all the Nintendo games. Um, nothing mind-blowing here. Just kind of run-of-the-mill NES stuff. But they were, I don't know, I think I paid $25 for everything you see here. So um, It's a great price. I mean, yeah. this is a 2001 model PSP. This is worth more than $25 I'm right sure. here, easily. Yeah. So He didn't have the chargers, but again, it was so cheap, I didn't really care. Whatever. Um, 
those are the NES games. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can kind of see based on the labels. They Nothing look, mind They look like every pile of NES yeah. games you've ever there's, seen. There's no Contra or anything yeah. in there. And then a few N64 games. Bomberman, Diddy Kong Racing, and Mario Kart 64, which is one that the last guy held on to. He wouldn't sell me. So anyway, I gave the guy a $25 bill for all this stuff. Great find. So that was Phase 2. Let's see Phase 3. Phase 3 is profit. What's Phase 2? I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you understood that joke. Phase 3. Phase 3. Profit. Profit. Again, nothing was sitting out. I just started asking about Nintendo games, and what do you got? Shovelware? That sounded bad. louder than I anticipated. And she was like, oh yeah, we got this, we got Super Nintendo. And I'm like, bring it out. It was sitting like right there in the garage on one of the shelves. She brought out this big bag. I don't know, it's probably 20 games here, plus a console. 19. And I didn't even look through all, I didn't even look through all of them. I just offered them a $20 bill. They countered with 25 so I said, okay. It's disgusting. Most of the games are pretty shovel wary but there are some pretty good ones in here. This one is the cream of the crop. What was I just saying? I was looking for that and... Tournament Fighters, yeah. and I found them both in the same I game. really want this game, and I'm totally jealous yeah. that you found it. I got a Donkey Kong Country, uh, Super Mario World, Busy Land. I don't know. It's somewhat valuable, 20 plus. And I don't know. what else? Wheel of Fortune. We're just pulling out the highlights. Yeah. We'll get the Mario, Mario All-Stars uh, combo cart. So That's kind of a cool one. I've never yeah. seen this in a while before. Um, I mean... It looks brand new. Yeah, it does. Is there a better value for for one Super Nintendo cart? Is there a better value than that? No. <laughs> no, there isn't. That's in, that's insane. You basically get five games, right? Yeah. Mario 1, 2, 3, plus Lost Levels, yep. plus Mario World. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country 2. This might be an upgrade for me. It's a little dirty, but the label's decent. Yeah. Wheel of Fortune, Ken oh, Griffey Baseball, boy. Top Gear, Golf, Fishing Games... Yeah, the rest of this is kind of junk, but I don't know, for $25 for all this. And a console, it's really dirty and gross. It needs a lot of cleaning. Gross. He said it worked. So, two controllers, all the cords. So that was my day. I spent a total of about 150 bucks. I got, I don't know how many NES games, m many Super Nintendo games, not so much 64, but a couple of pretty good ones, a bunch of sweet GameCube titles, um, Fire Emblem on GameCube. I think the Fire Emblem and then the Box Zelda are the highlights of the day. Yeah. Um, some great GameCube titles. Genesis. Shining Force 2 on Genesis. Dude. Another great title. Awesome. Um, yeah. I, I, I ran out of words this morning. I. And next time he'll have footage. Next time I will have footage. I, I, I don't even know what to say. This is one of my better days of all time. And I've been doing this for six or seven years now. This is right up there with the best of them. This is what you wake up on Saturday morning at, at 5 a.m. and you get that big smile across your face. This is what you start dreaming about. You start dreaming about somebody walking out of their garage and they're holding a whole bag and they open it up and it's full of Super Nintendo games. I had the dream last night. In my dream, I actually found Super Metroid, which didn't happen in real life. Whatever. This is what I daydream about yeah. all week, sitting on my, sitting at my desk, not getting any work done. Just this is what I'm daydreaming about right here. I get work done, just not May through August. Oh yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. There you have it. How'd you guys do today? Let us know in the comments. This has been an epic day. We we don't have a an end tagline, so we're just gonna stop the video right here. <laughs>